This is Showtime Sean Porter and you are watching Heavy Bag Boxing. You too! <laughs> Diabolical, what up, YouTube? Big TO Heavy Bad Boxing TV. Man, if you don't get your big goof ass in here and hit the bag, if you catch me for the first time, like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, get it black. So when I drop, take a few minutes, man, come hang out with your boy. All right, man, Jerron Boots Ennis, Brian Norman Jr. I'm not so sure that there's any other fight at 147 pounds that I would be more interested in watching than this matchup. Now, what do we know? We know that Eddie Hearn did actually send an a, a, a offer. We know that offer was countered. But what, do we, what, what also do we know? We know that Brian Norman Jr. and all of his young confidence, mind you, at 23 years old, the youngest champion in all of boxing right now, full of vigor, full of vigor, feeling invincible, Talking mad shit. Matter of fact, he said this quote. <laughs> You're not a big dog as long as I'm here. End quote from Brian Norman to Boots. And of course, Senior had a lot to say. And listen, let me tell you something. I've said this several times before. When pride and ego enters the room, oh, feelings get involved. Then you can't sway me to believe anything other than when Boots Ennis heard these comments from both Senior and Junior, he looked over to his pops and to whoever he had to do to get this fight done and told him, hey, get it done. Now, sometimes we don't always get what we want, but this particular fight, I just believe that it's, it happens. I wouldn't be surprised if that news broke at any time now. Now, listen. For my Jerron Boots and his fans. Oh, we've hyped them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I've been a part of the Boots train. When you're just giving a straight eye test, you have to uh, 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 acknowledge that the kid got crazy skills. And now with, of course, uh, Bud Crawford, Earl Spence moved out of division. Those megastars are gone. That just leaves Boots. And we all felt this. I think this was the consensus that we all felt. It just left Boots to kind of just pillage and ravage and, you know, reign over 147 pounds. But with the emergence of a 26-0, 20-K-O, 23-year-old young gorilla uh, by the name of Brian Norman Jr., whom I do believe, trust me, I... I I just believe he's a chameleon. I believe he adapts to any style. And listen, you only are, are as good as your last fight, right? Um, when you look at Boots versus David Avenition, oh man, listen, I got to be honest. That defense of Boots was trash. Trash. Uh, David Avenition was able to penetrate that defense damn near at will. Trash. But we're going to disregard that because it was David Avenition. Boots was opening up. He wanted to have a fan friendly, fan favorite type of style in that fight. He was out there having fun. He was having so much fun and dominating at the same time that David Avenition couldn't even answer the bell for the sixth round. So you can't take any way from any too much away from that performance. Um, but if he allows himself to be defensively irresponsible, in that same manner and allow someone like Brian Norman Jr. to land some of those same shots. Oh, this is where I think Boots gets exposed. Now, listen, I believe that this fight is a lot closer than what you guys may think. Again, we've and I've, I'm a little guilty of it as well. We what have built Boots to be something of what we might believe to be invincible. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, if you're a Boots fan and you're looking at this Brian Norman matchup, you probably believe in your head that there's no way Brian Norman can win. You've seen him. You know how strong he is. You can't win. You don't think he can win. And I can't wait to see what the odds is for this fight, just how big of an underdog Brian Norman Jr. is. But we're getting a um, shout out to uh, the boxing voice. I've seen a clip where... It appears that if, in fact, Brian Norman Jr. gets this 
uh, uh, boots fight, he'll be doing some special training with what he says is one of the greats. And I think I think Nesta Gibbs understood that more than likely because he has sparred this great uh, person in the past, he believes it to be none other than Bud Crawford that he can pick some jewels up from and potentially use that in a bout versus Boots Ennis. Um, all I'm saying is don't be surprised if Boots gets exposed in this matchup if it in fact happens next. And I'm willing to bet that it would because again, I just don't see Boots allowing Norman Jr. or Norman Sr. to talk in the fashion and in the manner that they talk and, and, and not make this fight happen next. Definitely want to know y'all's thoughts in the comment section. Do you believe Boots dominates Brian Norman Jr.? Or is this a fight where he further gets exposed if he's defensively responsible? Or could Brian Norman Jr. even pull out this win? Oh, B. Norman in the... Shout out B. Norman. All right, man, that's all I got for y'all on this one. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Know who I got, man. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.